hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to learn what is a tensioner so as you guys know in my channel it, all the previous videos uh, we are carrying forward the automotive series so it is one of the uh, part of that automotive series and before jumping into the presentation and knowing what is a tensioner let's understand what is an FED system so if you know uh, FED system stands for front end accessory drive system it is a very important part of an engine's design and it refers to the system of belts pulleys and tensioner that drives various other accessories mounted on the front end of an engine as you can see here uh, this is a this all the components comprises and known as FED system which we are going to learn in uh, next few slides and in this slide so these are the components of FED system a serpentine belt which is obviously this belt which is highlighted in red then a damper a tensioner an idler pulley alternator power steering pump air conditioning compressor water pump so let's understand now the functions of an FED system number one is the power transmission one of the most important function of our FED system is the transmission of power second is that it drives other key accessories which we mentioned earlier are water pump AC compressor power steering pump alternator it optimizes efficiency it makes the engine more efficient it facilitates accessory operation and most importantly it prevents slippage and wear of other accessories so now we are going to know this is the damper highlighted in black arrow this one is an idler this is an alternator this is a serpentine belt this is a tensioner hold this component here and this is a AC compressor water pump so now let's understand and get into what an, a tensioner actually is so a, an automotive tensioner plays a very important role in maintaining the proper tension as the name suggests tensioner it means it will give the tension on belts and chain that drives various other engine components proper tension is very crucial for the efficient operation of the engine and the other components of an engine so let's now understand what are the com common features and considerations while designing a tensioner number one is the pulley design tensioner typically includes a pulley that guides the belt or chain and maintains alignment here this components in the circular is known as pulley wear and maintenance tensioners can wear out over time and may need to be replaced as other accessories or other components of engine regular maintenance involves checking for signs of wear noise and improper tension as you know after few uh, 50000 kilometers or 1 lakh kilometers we have to uh, replace the belt and it is always recommended to replace the tensioner also in case it is vibrating a lot and there it is creating a whole lot of noise it is always recommended to change the complete uh, set of uh, accessories like idler tensioner and belt all together noise reduction some tensioners in include damping features to reduce noise and vibration from the belt or chain so a plastic component which is known as damper pad is given in the uh, this aluminium casing uh, to reduce the noise in the tensioner in summary tensioners are very essential for maintaining the correct tension on belts and chains they come in different types including automatic manual hydraulic mechanical each designed to suit specific applications and requirements so this is the tensioner in this engine so basically now we will understand the types of tensioner we have understood what a tensioner is now there are types of automotive tensioner first one is the front end accessory drive tensioner 
which is given on the left side and its function is to as already explained you maintaining the tension on the serpentine belt that drives multiple engine accessories like alternator power steering pump water pump ac etc components typical include uh, typically includes a pulley spring loaded arm that we will learn in the next slides so now automotive tensioners are of two type one is the spring loaded tensioner this tensioner is an example of a spring loaded tensioner and be before the spring loaded tensioners were being developed there were uh, development already took place of manual tensioners which required manual adjustment by turning a bolt or screw to set the correct tension it uses the lot of time so now we basically manufacture spring loaded tensioner second one is the timing tensioner so its main function is to maintain proper tension on the timing chain that was the part of a fed system now this is the part of a timing uh, kit into the uh, that camshaft it maintains proper tension on the timing chain that synchronizes the rotation of the crankshaft and the camshafts it includes tensioning mechanism which can be hydraulic mechanical or combination of both generally these are also spring loaded tension but a very delicate spring is being used unlike the fed tensioner so again these are of two types hydraulic and mechanical now in this uh, we will uh, there is an example of exploded view of a fed tensioner and we will understand each of the components this one as everyone can see it is a bolt this is the dust cover to protect um, uh, bearing uh, from the dust elements and contamination and rusting this is the pulley assembly nothing just a plastic ptfv pulley with two or one bearing generally a uh, 6203 general uh, ball bearing then this is an end cap this is a pivot bushing uh, one of the radial component to uh, give uh, damping and reduce vibration and noise this is a arm this is a lockup pin we have to and uh, dismantle the local lockup pin and then only the tension moves into its original position and the working condition this is a support spring this is the spring case in which spring is being mounted and this is the spring now the components of a timing tensioner a pivot tube a damper pad a, again a plastic component to give uh, a dampen the noise and vibration pivot bushing pulley shell bearing i told you the spring are very different in design a very thin spring is being used in timing tensioner due to packaging constraints then this is an arm and this is the end cap or casing then the function of a tensioner as already explained in previous slides also it maintains the proper tension and purpose is to ensure that the belt chain is kept at the correct tension most important feature of a tensioner is to give the tension proper tension is crucial for the efficient operation of the system too much or too little tension can lead to slippage it compensates for stretch and wear adjust the tension as the belt or cable stretches or wears over the time again the importance is to belts and chains are naturally elongate and stretch with use and the tensioner automatically or manually adjust to accommodate the date these changes again one of the other important feature is to prevent slippage then another feature is to reduce noise and vibration as i explained to you in the previous slides that it have the plastic uh, components to dampen the noise and vibration ensures proper alignment again the most important part it helps to maintain proper alignment of the belt it should always run in the center of the pulley 
proper alignment is essential to prevent uneven wear and to ensure smooth operation. So now let's understand the working of a tensioner. The working of a tensioner involves maintaining the correct amount of tension on a belt, chain or cable in various mechanical systems. The tensioner adjusts automatically or manually to ensure that these components operate efficiently and reliably. Here's a detailed look at how different types of tensioners work. Number one is the FVAT tensioner. These tensioner typically consist of a pulley mounted on a spring loaded arm as already explained. Working mechanism is the spring in the tensioner exerts a constant force against the pulley. Since it is a in helical rounds as the belt stretches or veers over the time the spring maintains the tension by pushing the pulley against the belt. Adjustments. The tensioner automatically adjusts the pulley's position to accommodate changes in belt tension and keep the belt at proper tension. Minimal maintenance is required since the spring provides continuous adjustment. Then second is the chain tensioners. These tensioners consist of a hydraulic piston that adjusts the tension on a timing chain. Engine oil pressure hydraulic tensions uses engine oil pressure to push the piston which adjusts the tension on the chain. As the chain stretches or wears, the hydraulic system automatically adjusts the piston position to maintain proper tension. And hydraulic tensioners provide smooth and precise adjustment adapting to engine conditions and reducing the noise. So now we will see a video, small video to just uh, learn how a tensioner works and to visually see how in the engine uh, FAT tensioner looks like while working. So this is how the pulley pushes uh, the belt automatically here in this part there is the spring and this pushes automatically the belt. So symptoms of a faulty tensioner. Number one is an unusual noise. Obviously when we run the crank the engine squealing or chirping noise a high pitched squealing or chirping noise often indicates that the belt is very loose or slipping which could be due to a failing tensioner. Rattling. A rattling sound may occur if the tension pulleys or the internal mechanisms is worn or damaged. Belt slippage. Belt might slip from the pulley and which can lead to the poor performance of the other engine accessories like alternator, AC compressor and power steering bunk whichever is uh, there in particular set of engine. Excessive vibration. A faulty tensioner can cause the belt or chain to vibrate excessively. It is known as the in the technical terms a belt flapping which may be felt as an engine vibration. Pulley movement. Excessive vibration can sometimes be seen if the tensioner pulley is not stable or moving erratically. Uneven or excessive belt wear. Belt wear patterns. Check the serpentine belt for signs of uneven wear, cracking or fraying. A faulty tensioner can cause uneven tension and lead to abnormal wear. Pulley misalignment. During a visual inspection, check for misalignment or wobbling of the tensioner pulley. This can be a sign of a faulty or a worn tensioner. So now we have seen the correct tensioner in uh, its original working condition. Now we'll see a faulty tensioner, how it behaves in an engine. If you see this is working fine and now again it is jerking a lot and it is giving excessive belt movement and loading unnecessary loading on the damper or other AC compressor accessory when replacing the belt replace the tensioner and idler pulleys if there is a particular noise as I already explained. So I hope you have liked this video in case you have further questions regarding the tensioner or FEAD system or belt wearing patterns do drop a comment um, and we'll follow up the in the next few videos, we'll learn the dampers, idlers um, and um, belts and whole this automotive series is going to be continued. Um, take care. Bye bye. Thank you.